What's up guys, Jay The Way here again, and today I'm going to be talking about the worst day of my college career. In one of my earlier videos, I mentioned that I go to LSU, I'm majoring in chemical engineering, and I had to pull out my Memorial Tower replica and the purple Kobe's to represent LSU. So what happened was this is this fall 2019 semester. This was the second semester of my junior year. I took five chemical engineering classes this semester, and this turned out to be the worst semester I ever had, both academically and mentally. Before this semester was the best semester I've ever had. I also took five classes, including a piano performance cl class, thermo and fluids. And keep in mind, this was Professor McPeak's fluids, not Kumar's fluids. I ended up with a 3.9 GPA that semester, a 90 on McPeak's fluids final. That gave me all the confidence in my ability to succeed in classes. Now, I was like prime Shaq with the Lakers in my 2018 campaign, or Novak Djokovic in 2015. That semester, I also got an offer to work for Exxon for an internship, which is arguably the highlight of my resume. Everything was going so well. And here we are in fall 2019 with the worst semester ever. I was taking heat and mass transfer, and what was on the exam was pretty much just one question that was a shell balance question. Keep in mind this was the first test I took in nine months because I delayed my graduation to work at Exxon for a semester. The next thing you know, I got my test back and during the test I completely choked. For some reason I froze, I just couldn't do the math to solve the problem, I was just drawing blanks. Next thing you know, the time is up. I find out what I got on a test and I got a 28. I was like, are you kidding me? This is not me. I just came off the most successful semester I've ever had just to get a 28 on the first test that is worth one third of your grade. Doing the math, that means I would have had to average a 90 on the second test and the final just to barely pass the class of a C minus. I'm telling you, that was the biggest ego hit I've ever taken in my life. I was calling all my friends. I was so upset, literally demoralized, telling them that I was gonna have to delay a semester because I choked on this first test. My logic was, if the average for the class was a 70 on that test, and I got a 28, and if that was the easiest test of the class, and the next two tests were gonna be harder, how in the world could I possibly average a 90 on the next two tests? I had some friends reassure me and tell me that everything was gonna be okay. If I had to delay my graduation again, it wouldn't be the biggest deal in the world. I just didn't wanna pay bills and spend unnecessary time in college again. What also made that semester worse was I took two of my least favorite classes I've ever taken in that semester along with three other chemical engineering classes. And not to add on, I was also doing research for Professor McPee. This semester was screaming at me as the impossible semester. I went to talk to my professor about it, and he told me that the math was very easy, and I agree, I completely choked. He said I should have done much better, but he advised me to stay in the class, and ultimately, I listened to him. I am telling you, these next few tests, for the second test and the final, I studied for heat and mass transfer as if there was a gun pointed to my head. I went to every single one of my professor's office hours to go over every single tiny bit of the notes with him. I didn't just go over the notes, but every single tiny step in the math, if I didn't get it, I made sure I understood everything in the notes. And I am telling you, before I took these tests, I was so nervous. In the second test, there was one question that was worth one third of the test and I completely froze. And I thought this was gonna be the end. I didn't give up. I got a 92 on the second test and on the third test, which was the final, I ended up with an 88 on the final. And I ended up actually averaging a 90 on the next two tests just to barely pass the class. I couldn't believe it. I overcame the most impossible situation that I've ever been presented with in my entire college career. He ended up curving the class, so I didn't get a C minus, I got a B minus in the class, but I didn't know he was gonna curve the class till the very end. I still had to study as if I didn't average a 90 on the next two tests. And some of my friends told me that that final, hard, one of the hardest tests they've ever taken in their college career. And I agree that test was hard, but it just shows you whatever you truly put your mind to, if you have passion and if you put the work in and if you truly believe in yourself you can do anything. I knew 
from what I went through the entire past year improving myself, coming off the best semester ever, the best summer ever, and then landing an internship with Exxon to live in Houston. I knew I could do anything. I never gave up in my ability to succeed, but it just shows you that your life can change in any, any moment. You have to humble yourself and be ready for any downtime in your life. And when it comes, do not give up because the storm is eventually going to pass. It's just a temporary moment in your life. I hope this video helps. If you wanna see more stories, please comment down below because I want this channel not just to be for me, but for what you all wanna to see too. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe, and I will be posting more videos soon. Jay the way out.